Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss topic on enveloping cone. First of all, here we discuss what is enveloping cone and what is working rule, how to find the equation of enveloping cone. Okay. What is enveloping cone? A cone generated by lines through the given points points means vertex and touching the given sphere is called enveloping cone of the sphere. Okay, see, this is the vertex. These are the generator. Okay, and this generator touches to the sphere. And if we draw the axis, then axis is passing through the center of that sphere. Okay. Suppose this is C point, this is B point, A is vertex, alpha, beta, gamma, okay. Then the angle between this axis and the generator, that is the theta, semi-vertical angle. So here, the working rule to find the equation of enveloping cone is identify the DRS of the generator for that we take the point p x y z the drs of generator x minus alpha y minus g beta and z minus gamma and and the drs of axis see from the given sphere we identify the center okay and the vertex is known suppose the center is uh, a b c then the drs of this axis is a minus alpha b minus beta C minus gamma. Otherwise, alpha minus A, beta minus B, gamma minus C. Okay. So here, for solving this equation, we apply the concept of right circular cone. It requires the theta. It requires the direction ratio of these two lines. Okay. And once we we get the DRS of the generator and axis and theta, then we apply the formula of right circular cone. Okay. So it is right circular cone with axis as the lining joining the vertex and the center of the sphere. Okay. Let us see the example on the enveloping cone. Find the equation. Find the enveloping cone of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 4z minus y is equal to 0 with its center vertex at 1, 1, 1. Let uh, x square plus y square plus z square minus 2x plus 4z minus 1 is equal to 0 be the equation of the sphere. Okay. So we compare this equation with the general equation of the sphere and then we identify the center and radius c. We know the general equation x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times ux, 2 times vy, 2 times wz plus d is equal to 0. Here the center is center is minus u minus v minus w and the radius radius is under root u square plus v square plus w square minus d okay so if we compare here then then 2 time u the coefficient of x 2 time u is equal to minus 2 that is the center is here uh, the value of the u is minus 1 v the coefficient of y is not here v is 0 and the z is here uh, 2 time w is equal to uh, 4 that is the w is 2 Okay, that is the center is minus u minus v minus w. Okay, that is 1, 0, minus 2. Now, this radius is under root 6. How we can calculate using this formula? That is under root. Under root. Uh, the value of the u is actually 1 when we uh, calculate minus 1, sorry. Minus 1, minus 1 square plus v is 0 plus w, w is plus 2 
and minus d minus d so here d is d is equal to d is equal to minus 1 and minus minus plus 1 okay when we simplify then we get plus 1 plus 4 and plus 1 that is root 6 okay see this is the cone okay now this is the sphere this is the sphere the cone whose vertex suppose a 1 1 1 and this is the axis passing through the center of the sphere we calculate here center is 1 0 minus 2 1 0 minus 2 and one zero minus two and this is the radius the radius suppose this is the b point this is the c point the distance is root six okay and here we calculate u is equal to minus 1 v is equal to 0 and w is equal to 2 and then center is minus u minus v minus w so that here the minus become plus v 0 and 2 is a minus 2 okay well, and here the theta be the semi vertical angle between the axis and the generator and we take the p point p point x y z the vertex is here 1 1 1 and the direction ratios of the AC is 1 minus 0 1 minus 1 is 0 now 1 minus 0 is 1 1 and here minus minus plus 2 that is 3 the so DRS of this axis 0 1 3 now we want the DRS of generator for that we take P be the any point then P be the any point, then DRS of this generator x minus 1, y minus 1, z minus 1. Okay. So this is the right circular cone. Okay. So here it requires the DRS of axis and DRS of generator we got here. Now theta is remaining. So for theta, we know the tan theta. Tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to uh, BC divided by the AC. The BC means radius of the sphere root 6 and the AC we find out this distance using distance formula the 1 minus 1 0 bracket square uh, 1 minus 0 is 1 square and 1 minus minus plus that is the 3 square that is 9 okay that is root 6 upon 10 the common factor is 2, 2, 2 will get cancelled, that is root 3 upon 5. Now here squaring, we squaring this, then tan square theta is equal to, tan square theta is equal to simply 3 upon 5. And we know that cos square theta is 1 upon sec square theta, and sec square theta is 1 plus tan square theta, and tan square theta is 3 by 5. Simplify, 5 is multiplied here, 5 become numerator. 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 become numerator that is 5 by 8. Okay. Then the equation of right circular cone is cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to C. I am again drawing the diagram here. This is the cone. This is the sphere. semi vertical angle theta we take p be the any point a x y z and this is the vertex 1 1 1 and the center we have calculated the center is center is 1 0 minus 2 1 0 minus 2 this is the radius of the sphere that is the p point b point okay that is the distance is root 6 okay so here uh, for right circular cone, we require the generator of the AP line that is 
एक्स माइनस वन वाई माइनस वन जेड माइनस वन एंड डी आर एस ऑफ ए सी लाइन हाउ वी कैलकुलेट वन माइनस वन जीरो वन माइनस जीरो वन and one and this minus minus two that is three so these are the drs of the axis ac and these are the drs of the generator ap line okay now the uh, equation of right circular cone is the uh, this is l mn that is l into this now zero into x minus one okay plus one into y minus one and three into z minus one and divide by their magnitude the magnitude of this 0 square 1 square and 3 square and magnitude of this one under root x minus 1 bracket square plus y minus 1 bracket square z minus 1 bracket square okay now simplify here the simplification is see here this is uh, 0 now here y and this plus 3z minus 1 and uh, this minus 3 minus minus uh, minus 1 and minus 3 minus 4 okay then here Ten uh, under root ten and this. Now we squaring both side, squaring both side here cos square and here bracket square. The root ten uh, is become ten simply and here the square and this square root is cancel. Okay. Now we calculate cos square theta. We substitute here cos square theta as a five by eight and in uh, here in right hand side the numerator numerator we apply the formula. Formula a plus b plus c bracket square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus two time a b two time a c and plus two time two time b c. Okay, so here a square plus b square plus c square then two time a b then two time a c and two time b c. Okay. Now here, the common here eight uh, it can be written as four into two and ten it can be written as five into two. Okay, two two will get cancelled. Five into five that is twenty five, and here four is multiplied here. Okay, and here we expand x minus one bracket square y minus one bracket square z minus one bracket square. Now we construct the x square. Y square, Z square. So here, twenty-five x square. Hmm? There is a only one x square term in both side, so that twenty-five x square. Now, twenty-five y square, and here, four y square. It become minus. That is minus four. Twenty-five minus four. That is twenty-one. Now, twenty-five Z square, and thirty-six. Four into nine, thirty-six Z square. It become minus. That is twenty-five minus thirty-six minus eleven. Now construct the two variable term. Here the two variable term is here. Four uh, into six twenty four. It become minus twenty four. Okay. So there is only one two variable term. After that we construct the x. So here minus fifty x. So here only one x term that is minus fifty. Now construct the y. Here minus fifty, and here minus thirty two. It become uh, plus thirty two fifty minus plus thirty two. Minus eighteen. Now z. Ah, uh, minus fifty, minus fifty, and here z is here. That is minus ah uh, twenty uh, ninety six. It become plus ninety six. Okay, ninety six minus fifty. That is plus forty six. And here twenty five into three. Now construct the constant term. So here seventy five, seventy five, and here. Here ninety six, sorry, sixteen into four sixty four, sixty four. Okay, now this sixty four is plus here, and we, when we put in left hand side, then it become minus. That is seventy five minus sixty four. That is eleven. Okay, so this is required equation of enveloping cone. Thank you. Thanks for the watching video.